Hey Talking Fam and welcome to another Talking Sports video and today let's take a look at the NBA Week 9 injury report. Alright guys, so the first team on this list is the Atlanta Hawks. Clint Capella is going to be out for the Monday's contest against the Grizzlies <clears throat> according to uh, the Hawks official site. Trey Young is out as well uh, on Monday due to a back injury. Bojan Badanovic is listed as out, while DeJounte Murray is also expected to be out for one to two weeks. John Collins will miss at least uh, one more week due to a left ankle sprain. For the Boston Celtics, Al Horford is set to return to the Celtics on Friday, according to the Athletic. Robert Williams is listed as out for Monday's game against the Los Angeles Clippers due to a knee injury, and Daniel Gallinari is still listed as out. Next up, we have the Brooklyn Nets. Royce O'Neal is listed as out for just uh, no comments at all. For the Charlotte Hornets, Mark Williams will not play. He did not play yesterday against the Seven Sisters. Lamella Ball did not suit up as well. Dennis Smith will remain out. Uh, Gordon Hayward uh, has been silent for the foreseeable future, and Cody Martin, he <clears throat> will be out for a few more weeks. The Chicago Bulls. Alex Caruso is listed as day to day, while Ayo uh, Dasunmu uh, did not return to last night's game due to an abdominal bruise. Lonzo Ball is still going to be listed as out. He <clears throat> remains without a timeline, it's been really slow. He is clearly without, but he is not without pain. Uh, no timetable, though. For the Cleveland Cavaliers, Dylan Windler. The coach said Thursday that he is progressing slowly. He will be able to do some limited on-court work. Ricky Rubio. He has been granted clearance to do more 5-on-5 five -five work for his most recent meeting with the medical team. And Dean Wade. He will miss at least two to three more weeks due to an AC joint sprain. The Dallas Mavericks' Josh Green has been ruled out for Monday's game against the Thunder. We'll miss a few more games after that. Davis Bertans has been ruled out as well for Monday's game due to an illness. For the Denver Nuggets, Michael Porter Jr. was active in portions of Monday's practice, but he is unlikely to play in Wednesday's game against the Wizards. Colin Gillespie remains out as he remained out last night against the Pelicans due to a lower leg injury. For the Detroit Pistons, Cade Cunningham will undergo season-ending knee injury, shin injury, according to ESPN Adrian Wojnowski, and Isaiah Livers was listed as out for last night's game against the Lakers. For the Golden State Warriors, Draymond Green is probable for Tuesday's matchup against the Milwaukee Bucks due to a left ankle sprain, according to the San Jose Mercury News. Andrew Wiggins will be unavailable for games on Tuesday and Wednesday, according to ESPN.com. Andre Agadola, he is going to go through every practice but has yet to participate in full contact scrimmages. He isn't close to making a season debut. He will be healthy in the second half of the season. Houston Rockets, Jay Sean Tate, went through a workout on Monday, but doesn't have a timetable to return. For the Indiana Pacers, Aaron Neesmith exited Monday's contest against the Heat in the fourth quarter with a right shoulder injury. We'll have to wait and see on that. Kendall Brown has been diagnosed with a stress reaction in his right tibia. He will be reevaluated in two weeks. Daniel Feist as well, he is still says out. For the LA Clippers, Norman Powell remains out without a timetable for a return, but has been cleared to participate in some on court workouts. For the Los Angeles Lakers, LeBron James is probable for tomorrow's Tuesday's matchup against the Celtics with a low ankle soreness. Winion Gabriel is will not play and Tuesday's game against the Celtics. Uh, Anthony Davis is going to be probable for tomorrow's matchup Tuesdays against the Celtics due to a right back tightness. Juan Toscano Anderson will be reevaluated in two weeks due to a right ankle sprain suffered 
and last week's damage against Toronto. And then Cole Swire is still listed as out. For the Memphis Grizzlies, Steven Adams has been ruled out for Monday, t Monday's damage against the Hawks. John Morant is inactive for Monday's contest. Desmond Bain will miss another three to four weeks. And Danny Green is still listed as out. For the Miami Heat, Dave Vincent has has been ruled out for Monday's damage against the Pacers. And Omer at seven, he did, he is still out. <coughs> for the Milwaukee Bucks, Drew Holiday is still listed as day to day, while Chris Middleton is probable for Tuesday's game against the Warriors. For the Minnesota Timberwolves, Jordan McCoughlin is listed as out without any comment. Uh, Turin Prince, uh, he is going to be at least a week away, maybe a little bit more from coming back due to his shoulder. Carl Anthony Towns is expected to be sidelined for four to six weeks, according to Adrian Wojnowski of ESPN. <clears throat> for the New Orleans Pelicans, Brandon Ingram will remain out for Tuesday's game against the Jazz. Herbert Jones is probable for Tuesday's game, while E.J. Liddell is still listed as out. For the New York Knicks, Jalen Brunson is day-to-day, -day, while Trevor Neal's Keels is out, and Ryan uh, Arsenal-Sono has been ruled out first on he was out for yesterday's game against the Kings. Obi Toppin is expected to still be uh, reevaluated in two to three weeks. The Thunder, Trenrich Williams, would not play on Monday's game against the Mavericks due to the Oklahoman, and Chet Holmgren will still be out. He did undergo a second uh, procedure Tuesday to remove hardware from his initial uh, list right surgery in August, according to USA Today. All right, next up we have the Orlando Magic. Chima Okiki will not. He did not dress on sa Sunday's game. Gary Harris did not see the court on Saturday, while Jalen Suds remain, remained out yesterday as well. Jonathan Isaac, he was assigned to the G League's Lakeland Magic on last Tuesday, while Wendell Carter Jr., he will be still out for one week. For the Philadelphia 76ers, Daniel House Jr. is probable for Tuesday's matchup against the teens, while Tyrese Massey, he appeared to be a partial participant in Wednesday in the 76ers practice session, but head coach Doc Rivers said that the guard remains without a specific timetable. The Phoenix Suns, Dwayne Washington Jr. has been ruled out for Tuesday's game against the Rockets, while Devin Booker has been ruled out as well. Cameron Johnson remains out, remained out yesterday, Sundays, against the Pelicans. He is without a clear timeline. Jay Crowder is still listed as out. For the Portland Trailblazers, Gary Payton the second. Head coach Chauncey Billups said Payton has been doing three-on-three -three work, but remains without a timeline. This year, Little is going to be out for five weeks with a mild femur head impaction and fracture on his right hip. For the Keens, we have Alex Lynn, who has been rolled out for Tuesday's matchup against Philadelphia, and De'Aaron Fox, who is questionable for Tuesday's matchup. The San Antonio Spurs, Tyda bates Diop has been rolled out for Monday's matchup against Cleveland. Jacob Poldle has been ruled out for Monday's matchup as well, and Blake Wesley. He participated in some 3-on-3 three three work on last Wednesday for the first time since spraining his MCL in late October. For the Toronto Raptors, O.J. Anaby is still listed as day-to-day, -day, while Otto Porter Jr. is listed as visited, scheduled with a specialist next week with the hope it will shed a positive light in regards to his return. Uh, Juancho Fernando Gomez will miss at least another 7 to 10 days, according to the Raptors official site. Precious Achiwa will remain out for a 1 to 2 more weeks with a clear timeline for his return. The Utah Jazz, Simone uh, Thodicino, has been ruled out for Tuesday's matchup against the Pelicans, while Colin Sexton will be reevaluated in one week after an MRI Thursday revealed a mild hamstring strain. And lastly, the Washington Wizards. Kristaps Porzingis is listed as day-to-day, -day, while Monte Morris has been ruled out for Monday's matchup against the Nets. Bradley Beal has begun to participate in on-court activities as part of his recovery process. Re Hachimura, uh, coach, said Wednesday Friday that he has participated in non-contact drills, but hasn't progressed to 3-on-3 or 5-on-5 activities. And then Dion Wright remains without a clear timeline, but is hoping to progress 
to a two on two and three on three work soon, according to NBC Sports. All right, that is going to be the game, uh, the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe down below. I would really appreciate it. And see you guys in the next one. Peace.